So after we derived the sakurta trodi equation in uh, problem 231, uh, this question asks to use it to find the entropy of a one mole of argon gas at room temperature and atmospheric pressure. So as you can see, this is the Tetrode equation. So N would be the number of molecules, V will be the volume. Uh, and uh, here I do not have the volume, but I could use the ideal gas law uh, to relate uh, uh, the volume to the pressure and temperature because we are given room temperature and atmospheric pressure. We know that the ideal gas law is PV equals nRT with n being the number of moles and here we have one mole so uh, so n equal one one mole so n equal one and so we will get V equal RT over P okay and uh, big N stands for the number of molecules now since we have one mole every one mole of an ideal gas has Avogadro's number of molecules which is 6.02 times 10 to the 23 molecules uh, okay we still have to find u so now we have v we have n we still have to find u so uh, u uh, the internal energy uh, uh, this is a monoatomic gas uh, the internal energy of a monoatomic gas is uh, 1 half kT Uh, for every molecule uh, per one degree of freedom and uh, so here uh, for an ideal gas since uh, uh, this equation becomes uh, 3 over 2 nkt Right, so we multiply by the number of molecules, which is n, and then to make it to generalize it into all the molecules, and we multiply by three, uh, which is the degrees of freedom of a monoatomic ideal gas, uh, would be uh, three, and uh, we know that uh, nkt is the same thing as small nrt. Uh, so I could use that just so I can put it in the same uh, units as V makes the uh, makes the algebra a little bit easier uh, R T okay um, and now uh, we're just gonna plug all this in into our uh, equation Oh, one second here. I forgot to write the M here, didn't I? Uh, and the final answer. Uh, I apologize. So this is a correction to number the previous recording, 231, that I did. I just forgot my M there. Okay, so, uh, so that means I need the M, correct? So what's the mass of a mole of argon? Well, uh, the mass... is uh, for argon if we go to the periodic table it's uh, let me pull it up not sure what argon is thirty nine point nine four eight grams times ten to the minus five uh, minus three sorry kilograms okay so now we are ready to plug all this in and s so then s becomes Uh, I'm gonna put all the values, uh, leave it, th and then I'll plug in the numbers at the end. So uh, ln uh, v over n v we said is r t over p n 
and then we have 4 pi m u u is 3 over 2 n r t divided by 3 n which squared not sure why I put uh, an h bar here it's just h squared uh, yeah I should I should go back and do some corrections on that previous question yeah okay it's I think it's uh, pretty self-evident uh, but I'll make the correction on that question once I get the chance so this is all raised to the 3 over 2 plus 5 halves and now all we have to do plug in the numbers so uh, and we said is 6.02 times 10 to the 23 ln uh, R is uh, let's see here uh, 8.31 temperature is 300 divided by the pressure this is atmospheric pressure so 1.01 .01 times 10 to the 5 times n And now we'll fill in here 4 pi 39.95 times 10 to the minus 3 times 3 halves n is 1 mole small n times 8.31 times 300 all raised to uh, uh, with 3 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23 uh, and then the value of H is get the value of H Six point six two six times ten to the minus thirty four joule seconds squared, and this whole thing is raised to the three halves plus five over two, and uh, close this big bracket. And this whole thing here is inside the ln. Let me make this a little bit more clear here plus 5 over 2 okay so now it's a matter of calculator I'll be back with the answer uh, one forgot to do one thing before I compute this on the calculator uh, this is uh, this M that goes into the equation uh, that goes into the equation of the entropy is actually the mass of one mole so we would have to uh, adjust this so we would have to divide every uh, one so every uh, one of these uh, we have to divide by the number of molecules so we can get uh, the mass of uh, one atom of the gas so we'd have to divide this by 10 to the 23 and one more correction too I need to multiply this and I need to correct that on the previous problem by K because entropy is K L N um, uh, Boltzmann's constant times uh, the uh, times the L N of the multiplicity which uh, I also did not put here so this is K there's a K there okay so uh, with that said uh, this number here has to be multiplied by let me use the same color 
uh, Boltzmann's constant is uh, uh, 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23 Okay, uh, and here we have to adjust this, so I would have to divide this by Avogadro's number, so this will be 39.9 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23. Okay, and so once this is plugged on the calculator, you get I get you should get 154.77 joules per Kelvin. This is for argon, okay. And now it says, why is the entropy greater than a mole of helium under the same conditions? Well, uh, the only thing that changes, one mole of helium, the only thing that changes is the mass of one atom of helium. And you can see uh, that the mass appears in the numerator. It's inside the ln, but still it's an increasing function. Um, so as the mass increases, the argument inside the ln increases, which means the entropy has to increase, right? And uh, and helium has a smaller mass than argon, and therefore, uh, under the same condition conditions, uh, the uh, entropy for helium will be smaller than the entropy of argon, since Again, the molar the mass per molecule for argon or for helium is smaller than the mass per molecule for argon. So it would make sense as the numerator goes up, the result goes up, and the entropy for argon will be uh, greater than that of helium under the same conditions. That concludes the question.